Hey guys, welcome to video two. Glad you made it this far. Can't wait to chat to y'all. Hit the like and subscribe and get these free greetings. Well, now we've got that out of the way, normality can resume. <laughs> welcome to video two. If you've made it this far, you deserve credit for sticking with it. I thought this video, instead of diving straight into, I don't think it's boring, some would consider it boring, instead of diving straight into the, the gear, the resources, the skills you need to acquire, blah blah blah, safety precautions, always safety precautions, I thought we could talk about something that's a little more inspiring. Passion. So, for video two, I thought we could have a wee, short, inspiring, deeply inspiring, consideration of the 10 best grade one, two, and three routes in the country. By in the country, I mean in the areas of Scotland in which I have climbed, i.e. Glencoe, Ben Nevis, Torridon, the Cobbler, that sort of area. Yeah. Loch Aber and a wee bit beyond, basically. So these are the 10 best routes I have climbed, plus one or two I haven't actually climbed, but are considered uber classics that everyone should be aiming to climb at that grade at some point. So to kick us off, actually before we start the list, I think there are 10 on it, you can count as you go along. Before we start the list, I would recommend that as soon as you've strapped on a pair of crampons, watched a few wee videos about how to move in them, I'll do a wee bit on that later, provide some links. At that point, I think everyone should head up to Glencoe, park the car, Hike on up to Stob Corian Lochin and climb Broad Buttress. It's a grade one, probably the easiest grade one in the country. As its name suggests, it's quite broad, so it doesn't feel like a wee rocky cathedral, which is the way I kind of prefer it. I like gullies to be enclosed and exciting and overhanging rocks and all the rest of it. It's not one of them, it's a big, broad, wide gully Loads of people around, popular wee area, tons of people on a winter day if the conditions are good. So stick your crampons on, the walk up to it will provide you lots of practice of moving in snow, just to hone your skills, bosh up it, top out on Corian Lochin, turn left, head to the summit. The views are spectacular. The walk in, the views, watching Corian Lochin rise up before you with all its buttresses and pinnacles and gullies, it's absolutely spectacular. So, do Broad Gully, it's barely a grade one, it's absolutely easy, anyone can do it, great intro, it's not part of the list because it's a bit boring, I'm fed up doing it, taking people up there. Obviously, it's quite avalanche prone in bad conditions, so check avalanche forecast, blah blah blah, we'll cover all that in later videos, but good condition, good snow, fun me route, well it's not fun, if it's your first time ever in a gully it's fun, the rest of the time it's kind of boring. However, it's a great intro to easy terrain. Boom. Seeing as we're going to be talking about some pretty extreme terrain, thought I'd better gear up just in case. So, number uno. Gully number three on Ben Nevis. It's a little light broad gully, it's steeper, it's narrower, the rock architecture is much more spectacular, it's a much more atmospheric place to be, and there's something just so adventurous and spectacular feeling about walking up to the north face of Ben Nevis, progressing up one of the gullies and topping out on the plateau. It's absolutely stunning. I would also recommend gullies four and five because they're both grade ones, two star, great routes, top out on Ben Nevis. Obviously topping out on Ben Nevis has a lot of pitfalls and dangers you've got to worry about, but we'll talk about all that later. So that's gully three, four and five on Ben Nevis. Great number one routes. Classic. Probably not classic, but good. 
Route number two is Hayfork Gully on Ancelic. I've mainly included this because popping out the top of Hayfork Gully and you look across and you've got that iconic view of Ancelic with snow in all the gullies and the peaks around it all capped in snow. It's absolutely spectacular. <laughs> A bit steeper, a wee bit longer, kind of twists a bit, but again, it's a grade one, nice and manageable. Number three. This is more of a personal favourite because I soloed it a couple of times way back, well, two seasons ago, when I'd done a couple of grade ones and thought I could handle all the grade one terrain and all the territory and everything it could throw at me. I found it in very lean condition, it was a bit more like a grade two. Felt very scary. I actually got near the top and backed off, which was a stupid thing to do because I should have just climbed on. It's usually safer to climb on and get to the top than it is to down climb. I found it in very lean condition, and in lean condition, it's more like a grade two, and I should probably give you the name of the route. Summit Gully on Stob Cornambith. It's a subsidiary summit of Vidian Nambian in Glencoe. It's a spectacular route. Cannot recommend it highly. Into grade this is route number four and it's the vehicle ridge in the Cairngorms, the northern quarries, Schnechter to be more precise or Trech to be even more precise but everyone calls it Corian Schnechter because that's the way it's written and that's the way we ruin the Gaelic pronunciation. If you say Trech nobody will know what you're talking about so everyone calls Corian Schnechter. Vehicle Ridge is a great grade two, nice and short, looks quite steep on the approach, looks a bit sketchy, but once you're on it, it's big and blocky and lots to pull yourself up on and good hooks and good ledges for your feet. It's a great shortish grade two and you top out on the top and traverse background. However, topping out in the Cairngorms is a, a unique experience. The winds are fierce at the best of times, but we'll talk about all that later. So anyway, number five just next to vehicle ridge is the vehicle couloir it's a long couloir that cuts across the face steepens right at the top it's a great fairly easy grade two the first time i did it i did pitch it because i was climbing with somebody i didn't know their abilities and they didn't know mine so i did actually i basically soloed up put gear in a bit of a belay brought them up did the next pitch but you could solo it it's relatively easy terrain quite steep in places um, there is a block near the top, large block about 8, 9, 10 feet tall, blocks the whole way, you have to go over it. Normally it's about a grade 3, however, the conditions we found it in, it was probably a tech 5 or 6, which is a big surprise when you're on a grade 2 gully and boom, you're hit with a tech 5, 6 move. You've got no skills to do it, my axes weren't even sharp enough to get the kind of grip you need on that sort of precise rocky terrain. I had about 10 goes at it, fell off loads. He had a few shots, fell off, left his axes up there, had to climb up and retrieve them. Anyway, a grade two route can throw something like that at you and you're done for. We had to multi-pitch abseil all the way back to the base. It was pitch black by the time we got halfway down. We were abseiling in the dark, one head torch between us, learned a load of lessons. It was a cracking day once we were back at the car, but at the time it felt pretty sketchy. Abseiling is your best friend. If you can abseil, you can escape most routes. It's the best technique to learn other than winter navigation. However, learn to abseil, it's easy, we'll talk about it later. Route number six. It's not one I've actually done, I've done it quite a few times in the summer. Amazing scramble, love it, one of the best days out in the hills. It's supposed to be one of the best winter ridges you can do in Scotland, in Britain, in Europe possibly. The views are spectacular, grade two, and a Higig. It's amazing. I imagine the pinnacles on it can feel pretty spicy at the grade, a lot of exposure. If it's powdery and slippy, I imagine it can feel pretty full on going across the pinnacles towards the end. Something a bit shorter, route number seven is Dorsal Aret in Glencoe. Again, Corian Lochin, spectacular route nice and short. You could possibly make it your first grade two if you're feeling confident about your rope skills and your, your climbing skills and all the rest of it because the crux is very short. You can also escape the crux by traversing left, 
disappearing down into broad gully, hopefully at a walking pace and not plummeting pace. So it's a great wee short grade two route. The crux is nice and short and it's escapable and you can always have sail off. So it's a cracking wee grade two route, highly recommended. Transitioning into grade three, one quarry along from Corian Schnechter Trek is the Milky Way in Coran Lochane. It's a steeper quarry, feels a bit more adventurous on the approach, it all just feels a bit more foreboding, foreboding as you're approaching it, but the Milky Way, it's a nice easy grade three, the hard parts come in short sections, nice easy terrain in between, reasonable gear to get in and all the rest of it. It's a nice wee transition into grade three, very much recommended. If you want something a bit more technical at a grade three, again, quite a short technical pitch, is back over in Schnechta on Mess of Pottage is Hidden Chimney. Cracking route, grade two terrain all the way up to the base of it, big tall chimney, but again, it's pretty much vertical, but it kind of relents in nice blocky steps. It's relatively straightforward, really good hooks for your axes, great placements, you feel confident in them all day long, good ledges for your feet, lots of gear going in. It's a cracking grade three if you're looking at something just a wee bit more technical, something that gives you a feel for what it might be like to move into the more technical kind of grade three and four. But it's a cracking route, nice and short, great day out. Number 10. It's an uber classic, folks. Taxis. I've not actually done it. It's meant to be a classic. Can't wait to do it. Second we get a good freeze out there, I'm going to head on up and do it. It's got nice little ice pitches that are relatively easy angled. Gully climbing, bit of mix thrown in. There's a wee option at the top if you want to take on a grade four ice pitch if you're feeling really confident and you haven't been scared at that point. So it's a cracking route. Uber classic. Taxis on Ben and Othade, just above the Bridge of Orkey Hotel, off to the right. Great route. So, in winter climbing, it's good to have goals. They keep you going because there's a lot of misery involved. My personal goal ever since I first strapped on crampons and started researching all these routes all over Scotland and reading up on grading systems and all the rest of it, was Tower Ridge on Ben Nevis. Uber classic, uber classic, uber classic. Absolutely spectacular. I've not actually done it in the winter yet. However, the first deep freeze we get, I'm heading straight up to Ben Nevis, I'm gonna do it. I think I would be happy to solo it at this point. It's technically a grade three, although it's listed as a grade four, but in terms of the technical climbing and the crux sections and all the rest of it, it's grade three. There's nothing particularly difficult technically on it. However, it's a grade four because it's long and it's bold and it's committing. And so many people get stuck halfway up and the darkness comes in and they have to call mountain rescue, they freak out. If you do want to retreat off of it, you basically have to multi-pitch abseil all the way back down to the start. It's a long old route. I think you can traverse out left and escape off the eastern traverse if you have to. It's a long alpine route with some crux sections thrown in on the way. The little tower, the great tower, eastern traverse, tower gap. Absolutely spectacular. I cannot wait to do it. I would highly recommend it as anyone who's looking to move into grade three and even four terrain. But once you've got the rope skills, the confidence, you move well in crampons, you can move quickly as a pair, Tower Ridge should be on everyone's hit list. So, for now, happy climbing.